Hi, sometimes you get emails that genuinely keep you up at night and that's what this video is about. So if you're aware of this channel, I get a lot of emails, makes sense. I make a lot of videos teaching people new things. And so naturally they wanna inquire about me, you wanna ask me things. Sometimes I'll get genuinely beautiful emails, stuff that's like breathtaking, things that it, honestly, it means the world to me to get emails like you changed my life or I wouldn't be able to do this without you or I, I like thank you so much for what you do. And I wanna thank every single person who sends me emails like that because genuinely it means the world to me. But sometimes I get emails that are, are a bit like this, right? And this isn't the first time I've gotten this. I won't read anything out specifically. I don't wanna out anybody, uh, but here's how they go. Hi, Denshi, thank you for your videos. Um, thanks to your videos, I've decided to become a nihilist. Or thanks to your videos, I've decided to pursue this other very negative lifestyle choice. And you know, it, it harkens back to something I said in a video I made a while ago. You don't have to watch it, but it was this video where I said something like, you know, I'm concerned, I'm genuinely guil guilty. I feel guilty for people who watch my videos and binge them and like waste hours of their lives watching my videos. So there was a few days ago, a few months ago, I had this really cynical video idea. Sometimes I'll have like these silly video ideas, but sometimes I'll have some genuinely like cynical ones. And and it was gonna be this, right? It was gonna be the thumbnail and like the title of the video is like free software Spotify alternatives, you know, like Libre open source Spotify alternatives for Linux. And if you're not aware, Spotify is a music streaming platform. You know, it's, it's like, it's basically like, uh, I guess you could say YouTube for music, right? I don't really use it. I've never used it in my life, never registered. I don't touch that stuff with a 10 foot pole. It's run by Facebook. So, you know, what, what can I say more? Uh, but the problem isn't really that it's run by Facebook. The problem is that it's a platform which incentivizes people to watch music and recommends music using an AI system and, and all this stuff, right? You know what I'm getting at, right? Like it's social media for music and it just wants you to consume as much as possible, which ruins your life. Um, but the video itself was gonna be like this. It was gonna have that really clickbaity thumbnail, Spotify alternatives for Linux, like open source, free software, privacy respecting the software alternatives for, for Spotify. Um, but then you click on the video and it was just gonna be a rant about how antisocial listening to music is by me. That, that's what the video was gonna be. And I was gonna cite this specific graph that I saw once. And I know I'm basing my entire view on this up like a random graph and anecdotal evidence, but I mean, honestly, am I any better than like Reddit fact checkers? Probably not. Uh, but there's this graph that I saw once and it goes like this, right? It's like a list of all these habits and how antisocial is social there. So on right on this end, on the social end, there's stuff like, you know, go, you know, going outside their friends, um, sports, whatever, like normal stuff. And then you reach the other end and stuff like video game addiction, drugs, whatever. And the weirdest thing was the weirdest thing at the very end was music. And you would expect this graph to look like this, like at the top is like all these social things and it gets less social and then it passes through like the X axis and it goes negative and it's like, a, oh, well, these things are all these are like negative social, right? Negative social credit. So they're, they're negatively like affecting people's lives. Um, I guess it's like it, in internet terms, it's like going outside as a percentage. I, I don't know, close enough. Is that, that's what kids say now, right? Like, but basically it was going down and then you got to the music where it said music and it, it went like, like that, it went like through the floor. What? And I had, I had like a lot of thought about this and I thought, you know, actually that makes a lot of sense, right? Because people listen to music for hours on end and every single person I've personally met who's like really into music. And this is coming from someone who writes music. I play the piano, I play the guitar. I have like a whole like band and music stuff that I do. Um, I upload the songs to, I upload like the albums to this channel if, you know, if you've ever listened to them, but this isn't coming from somebody who's like external to the world of music, but I'm definitely not like a fan of anything specifically. Every single person, I just, I started noticing this, like every person that I talk to is like very focused on music. It's also the most like reclusive people that I meet. And that, that was like, that hit me like, wow, that graph was right, <laughs> you know? Um, so I'm talking about this because I understand how people watch my videos and maybe get like nihilistic ideas, right? So you watch these Linux videos and you're, you're, you're watching YouTube all day. You're binging or whatever, like what I was talking about earlier, the thing I feel guilty about. 
uh, you're binging all these YouTube videos and you're like, wow, man, I kind of don't care about life anymore, mostly because your life revolves around doing basically nothing if you're binging videos all day. Um, but it's pretty hard to care about life when you don't have one. But um, people are teetering on that edge and they find this new fun ob hobby of like Linux and tinkering. And the fantastic thing about Linux is that it, it really is freedom. It really is you just do whatever. You could do anything you want with your computer. Um, before the people who like use OpenBSD are like angrily typing in the comments, no, OpenBSD is like the true free operating system. I, uh, that's all I'm talking about. But you get what I'm saying, right? When you get into those, this computer stuff, it's like, wow, this is so liberating because I can do anything I want with the computer. I'm no longer bound to a specific system like Windows or Mac OS or whatever. I've talked about the idea of people carrying over bad habits from Windows and Mac OS from like the enslavement of proprietary software and social media to Linux. That's not really what I'm getting at in this, this video. I'm more saying people who like embrace all the stuff with open arms, they get all the thing pads, they get all the, you know, the Libre booting, all that stuff. That stuff isn't inherently bad, but it's not inherently good either because if that's taking up your time and to the extent that which it prevents you from gaining freedom, then you're not gaining freedom. Well, let me put it to you this way. Which one of these people is more free? Somebody with these like Libre booted thing pads is obsessed with free software, all this stuff, like spends like an innumerable amount of hours a day working on like this, his Linux config or whatever, um, versus somebody who might not have the same specific config or might just run Linux uh, on their computer. Or even they might have like a free software config or they might, might even have everything all all FSF approved or whatever. For people who don't know what that means, it means like when you have a system which is fully compliant, like a, basically a perfect Linux system, they might even have that, but they have like work to do. They have like responsibilities and they have time that is used towards things that matter. I'm not trying to say that Linux isn't useful or that any, or even going full like free software and uh, Libre booting is necessarily a bad thing or that it hurts your productivity or hurts your life. I'm just saying it can, like it, it can. And I think for the most people it, it doesn't, but for this minority of people who email me and talk to me about these things, like becoming nihilistic after watching my videos, after watching this stuff, then it can. So my, my, my like tip to you in this video, the point of this video is don't look up to me. Don't misinterpret what you see on the internet don't just don't interpret it really just you, you'll naturally interpret it but don't don't think about it too deeply just go on with your life and pick what you find is the best listen to people's opinions but don't idolize any of it and in short don't use spotify <laughs> no but like you, you get what i'm saying right you don't want to become like these people who use their computer and it enslaves them, like they're used by their computer rather than them using it. A lot of people say that in relation to Windows and Mac OS, like your computer uses you, well, you're not using it, but with Linux you are, but Linux can do the same thing if you let it. You have to, you have to use it constructively. And I think it's very constructive that people are giving each other tips on what to do when they use Linux, like maybe learn LaTeX, maybe get into programming if you like logical reasoning and stuff. Maybe get into something else you can do that's easier to do on Linux. But don't, don't, this is like a warning, don't waste your time on things which you think don't genuinely help you or don't genuinely um, support something that you believe in or, or actually help the world at large, you know. So I, I don't, I, I'm kind of teetering around the edge of what some people might try, try saying where it's like Linux is only worth if you don't value your time, that's not what I'm saying at all. I think Linux is very valuable. Um, and I don't think there's like a limit, by the way. I'm not trying to say that, oh, if you install Gen 2 and Libreboot, then you're already a wacko. No, there's plenty of people who do that and still get work done. What I'm saying is you have to do you. Like it's, it's down to, you don't have to feel pressured to pursue free software because you think um, it's like a social responsibility. You have to do it because it helps you and objectively, objectively it does. And it's faster and it's better and it's more more flexibility, more freedom, like just compare like LaTeX to Microsoft Word or compare uh, literally doing anything on Linux to doing it on Windows, it's faster. Windows will just shut down and start updating on you. It's kind of getting dark now and 
that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. I hope everybody enjoyed watching it. I'm sorry it was a little bit long. Goodbye.